Les, being a European um, and being of we're sim similar ages, so I was able to, I was fascinated about his background, fascinated. Growing up uh, in the 50s in Europe, Hungary, where BT and Puskas and the team, that we call them the 6-3 team here because they came to Wembley and beat England 6-3 in England, were the country that taught the world the game and this was our, you know, I was eight years old, Les the same. And, uh, you know, both had a big impact on our lives, though we didn't obviously know each other for many years afterwards. So Les's sense of history for the game was word perfect. His voice and his, particularly those voiceovers they used to do, or what we used to call them the city packages, I expect at SBS, they still call them that, where he set the scene, uh, found the words, delivered them in such a mellifluous way, and I was very envious of that, you know, and, and, and delighted to be part of a, a broadcasting team that, that I was in the same team as Les. So Les was, you know, I suppose, a real, a real brother because we were broadcasters. Johnny Warren, obviously from the '74 squad, playing pedigree, World Cup pedigree. Um, like Les, extremely serious about his football, um, particularly about the way the game was played. Um, he could be quite damning to some some of the England teams that we've seen him over the years we worked together. Kick and rush was. Uh, an expression that he he would reach for quite early, and I was always trying to defend some of the European styles. He loved South American football, Johnny. He loved to see the game played, passing. That's how he was, and, and but very very seriously minded about it. Good sense of humour, but we were working. You know, we were there to work, and although we were, you know, we we um, we had a lot of fun doing it. The fun came from doing the job properly. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't a jolly, not by any means. Working with Johnny and Les, you knew you had to be on your game. You had to take your A game. I, from from this house where I've lived all the time, where where I was working from, from SBS from 1990. In fact, um, I moved here in 1990, and um, every time I set off to go and work with them, I knew that the friendship would be there. But we would judge everything by how the broadcast went and that's the way it should be and they're, they're great pros, great people and I miss them both dreadfully. They were fighting for their code. I didn't have to do that fight um, because you know here it, here it is and I went went to work with them knowing that the World Cup would, would reach beyond the, the, the divides of the code.